First time, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is speaking in depth about the killing of American ambassador to Libya, Christopher Stevens. During a round of interviews last night, Clinton said she was responsible for the ambassador's security, not the White House. And Margaret Brennan spoke with the secretary overnight in Lima, Peru. Good morning. On her first overseas trip since the fatal attack on the U.S. consulate in Libya, Secretary Clinton is trying to set the record straight, pushing back against what some are calling mixed messages out of Washington. On September 16th, Ambassador Susan Rice made a number of TV appearances. Did you approve her speaking points that she delivered on the TV shows that day? I think she very clearly said, here's what we know now, but this is going to change. This is what we have at present, but it will evolve, and the intelligence community has said the same thing. Just five days after the attack, Rice appeared on CBS's Face the Nation. She blamed the violence on spontaneous protests over an anti-Muslim film. We do not have information at present that leads us to conclude that this was premeditated or pre-planned. Who briefed Ambassador Rice that day? Did you sign off on that briefing and those speaking You points? would have to ask her. You didn't speak to her before that appearance? No, but that does. It, everybody had the same information. I mean, I, I'm, I have to say, I know there's been a lot of attention paid to who said what when, but I think what happened is more important. We were attacked, and four brave Americans were killed. Everybody in the administration had, you know, has tried to say what we knew at the time with the caveat that we would learn more, and that's what's happened. So I think that... I've seen it before, not just in respect to this. I think it's part of what the, the fog of war uh, causes. Over time, the Obama administration changed the reason behind the attacks, calling it a planned terrorist assault, citing evolving intelligence, fueling Republican charges of a political cover-up. Either they are misleading the American people or incredibly incompetent. It came up again at last week's vice presidential debate. At the time, we were told exactly, we said exactly what the intelligence community told us that they knew. That was the assessment. And as the intelligence community changed their view, we made it clear they changed their view. Clinton has said the responsibility ends with the State Department. I'm not going to get into the blame game. I think intelligence is very hard to do. And what we're going to find out as we do this accountability review and we get what will be the best possible uh, chronology uh, that will be attached to what we knew when, uh, which takes time. I understand the, the, you know, the anxiety and the desire to try to get answers. I, nobody wants to get answers more than I do. Ambassador Rice's spokesperson tells CBS that she was given those speaking points by the intelligence community, not Clinton's State Department. Last night, three Republican senators released a statement praising Clinton for taking responsibility, but saying the security of Americans is ultimately the responsibility of the president. For CBS This Morning, Margaret Brennan, Lima, Peru.